Uh, good morning. Um, I thought I would make a video talking about something that I've gotten into conversations with people about uh, regarding DPS. Um, so DPS is, what that is, is it's uh, trays of mail that are already in order. It stands for something like delivery position sequence, something like that. Um, yeah, so it's mail that's already in order. Um, a lot of people feel that because it's already in order, why should you case it? And there are other people who feel that you should always case it. So I thought I'd just have a discussion about that and then uh, <laughs> just put my two cents out there. And then if you had any comments, be happy to hear from, from you, okay? All right, so here we go. Uh, one thing that affects it, um, whether or not you do it, is weather. So um, if the weather is bad, you may want to spend more time in your office getting your mail packed up so that it's faster to deliver on the street. Now, I would say in general, it's gonna take you, you're not, like an hour spent in the office won't save you an hour on the route, you know? An hour spent in the office might save you half an hour on the route or whatever, because if you're putting the DPS in, you're not just sorting it, but you're also pulling it down. So it does add more time than it saves, okay? Um, but still, if it's the weather's bad, that might be worth it. Alternatively, if there's bad weather uh, coming, <laughs> <laughs> you might want to get out on the street and deliver before the bad weather hits. So that's something else to consider too. You know, if a snowstorm is coming at two o'clock and you can get out of your office by nine, if you take your mail on the side, maybe it's worth it because maybe you can miss that weather entirely, that sort of thing. Okay. So weather's one factor. Another factor um, that you need to consider when you're going to decide whether or not to take your mail on the side is, uh, is traffic, okay? So you may want to case your DPS. You may want to case everything <laughs> for a portion of your route that has a lot of traffic. You just want to get in and out of there as fast as possible so you get it all packed up and so that when you're going, you can just pew, 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 deliver into the box really quick. Again, the flip side of that is timing because um, if you can you know, get to an area before the lunch rush, rush starts or something like that. <laughs> um, if you can beat the lunch rush uh, to a certain area, you know, you've got to deliver where McDonald's is or something, um, then hey, maybe leaving the office early is the way to go, okay? So, but it is something that you need to consider. Um, in general, in a heavily trafficked area, you want to get in and out of there as quickly as possible, okay? Uh, physical limitations and vehicle limitations. This is another thing to consider. So, um, if you have trouble with your eyesight, you know, at all, you know, you need reading glasses or something. Well, it's going to be easier in a controlled environment like the office for you to look at all of the addresses. So if you want to check and double check your mail, it's going to be easier for you in the office if you have problems with your eyesight. Whereas you're out on the street in an LLV, you really can't control how much lighting you have, that sort of thing. So um, that's one thing to consider. Also, you know, uh, if you are delivering out of multiple trays, you're going to do more bending and reaching while you're out on the route. It could be awkward, you know, so those repetitive motions, you know, it, it could cause injury. Just depends on you, um, your health and well-being and so on, but you've got to consider it when you decide how you're going to pack your mail. And uh, also what you can do in your delivery vehicle. If you're in an LL LLV, that is more set up to deliver from multiple containers than like most cars are. So you can set up your car to deliver from multiple containers, but it's kind of like, what can you do with what you have? Okay. Um, your route. So this is something else to consider because every route's a little bit different. So your route might be better for casing DPS than another route would be. Um, for example, distance between boxes. On my route, most of the boxes are fairly far apart. So um, I have lots of time as I travel between this box and that one, you know, I've got time to kind of grab a couple things and put them together before I get to that box. Okay. So distance between boxes is part of it. Um, also the complexity, how many holds and forwards do you have? So it is easier if you have a piece of mail and you're not sure whether or not it should go to that address, that's easier to check while you're in the office rather than when you're out on the route. So you've got a lot more access. You know, you've got your pink cards um, that tell you who's got a forward. Um, you can always talk to a clerk, ask them to look things up on the computer. Um, you can look at the case for the hold sticks, that sort of thing. So 
it's easier to check on those things in the office than it is out on the route. So if you have a very complex route, like you've got a lot of apartment buildings with people in and out, um, that's something to consider too. Uh, dismounts. So here's the thing, like I was, I've been on a few routes where they have a lot of these silver boxes. To me, it doesn't really make sense to sort things into your case. And then when you get to a silver box, then put them in there. Why not just sort it while you're standing by the silver box, right? So I think in that case, if you're dismounting, it really doesn't make sense to do a whole lot of um, casing of that DPS. Okay, same thing with like an apartment building, you go in an apartment building, it's got like 10 mailboxes, you know, right there. You can sort the mail right there. <laughs> you don't need to um, sort it in the office, pull it down all separated and then put it in the boxes there. So that's something to consider too. Um, for those parts of your mount, route that are dismounts, I really wouldn't bother, you know, uh, casing your DPS for that. And then uh, also the number of flats. So if just about everybody on your route has a magazine or a box holder already in the case, it makes a bit more sense to put the DPS in, okay, than it would if you don't have any flats or very few. So if you're on a route and there really aren't a whole lot of flats, um, casing DPS, in my opinion, is a pretty big waste of time because you're taking something that's already in order, sorting it, and then you have to pull it down into a tray or a bucket for delivery. So like, yeah, if you're not marrying it with other things, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to put it in the case. Okay. Um, quick story on my route, there was part of my route that I was casing the DPS in because it's like, it's a busy street. And as I go down it, it's like four or five boxes on a post. Then you go to the next one, four or five boxes on a post. So I wanted to get out of that area as quickly as possible. But the thing is they haven't been getting many magazines, many flats. So I pretty much was just putting the DPS in by itself with, you know, on that whole, on that whole stretch of like um, 40 boxes, there were maybe five people who got magazines. So it really didn't make sense anymore to case that DPS. So I stopped doing it. Okay. All right. Uh, moving on. Safety. So here's the thing. This is something where you're going to get some argument from people <laughs> who say that you should case your DPS. Uh, distracted, first of all, distracted driving is what we do. Let's face it. I mean, we are delivering mail while we are driving a vehicle on, on a public road. So we are distracted regardless. Now, how many distractions are too many on your route? You know, that's something that you really should consider. Um, if you're taking three things on the side, if you're working out of four or five trays, that's a lot, you know, but maybe you can handle it on your route. Maybe it's not as busy. I don't know. Um, so you have to consider, but really think about how many distractions are too many on your particular route that you're running. And then also uh, another thing to consider is if you don't case your DPS, you will probably leave earlier, right? Um, so you are less likely to be in the position of someone who needs to rush to get done by five o'clock, right? If you leave earlier, you don't have to rush as much. So it's another consideration when you're thinking about safety. Yes, you're having to do more at each box, but you're leaving earlier, you're not having to rush. It's one of those things. So you've got to kind of consider it for your particular route. And uh, really that's about it. But if you had any questions or comments, I'd be happy to hear them. Um, personal, my personal feeling on delivering DPS is that it really just depends. So you gotta consider all these things, make the decision what's gonna work best for you. Um, I, on my particular route, I don't like casing my mail anymore. I'm very slow at casing. Um, so it helps me to get out on the route earlier and then I don't have to rush when I'm out there. But again, I'm not saying it's the right thing for your route and I defend your right to case your DPS if that's what you choose to do. Okay, be happy to, I, excuse me, I look forward to hearing your comments and thanks again for watching.